if your dad were alive? Um, he'd be so proud of you. What would my father do right now? First of all, he'd probably be sitting here smoking a cigar. He's a very thoughtful guy. You know, the thing that I remember the most about my father, and you know, I had him for 32 years, but the thing that I do remember all the time, you know, I think about him practically every day, is for a person like myself who live in, this, in the spotlight and, and is so critical you know, from people all the time in terms of what I do, what I say, you know, where I go, the thing he's always said, take a pause before you make a decision and say what if. And the purpose for saying what if is mm. that whatever decision you make, always either going to have consequences, mm. either pros and cons. No, but you obviously listened to your father because in the very beginning, you spoke about being humble, not shouting about who you are and what you've done, and just being within yourself. True. It's not just my father. You know, I, my mother calls me practically every day, reiterating, keep your nose clean. That's her, that's her. She ends the conversation mm -hmm. of every time I hang up, as opposed to me, you know, hey, obviously we say, I love you, mom, can't wait to see you, talk to you soon, blah, blah, blah. Her last word is just keep your nose clean. That's her constant reminder to say, hey, look, people mm -hmm. are watching. You know, people are learning, people are paying attention. And, you know, the best news in today that sells is negative news. That's all the reporters want. I know. Now, mm -hmm. all the decisions I've made, other people may view to be not the right decisions from their perspective. But for me to go play baseball, and everybody says, oh, it was a, it was a failed opportunity to play baseball. You know, that's what they think. For me, it was the best thing that could have happened for me because it allowed me to go back to the game with a stronger passion. At the same time, I was able to understand the love that these minor league baseball players have, making $1,500 a month, $1,500 a month, which is nothing. But for them, it was big. To see that helped me put things in perspective to understand the platform that I was on in 93, that when I went back to it in 95 and 96, I appreciated it even greater. So when we won those championships and we went through those, those things mattered to me far greater than what I did in 91, 92, 93. People don't see that to be success. You know, all they think about, well, you batted 202, you know, and you struck out a certain number of times. Yeah, okay. But the effort was there and the learning curve and the passion was there that has transcended not just to me, but to other people who are afraid to do things because they're worried about the perception that may come from other places. Mm -hmm. To me, that's more gratifying uh, than anything. So that's the things that my father and my mother instilled in me. Take a negative and turn it into a positive. Don't mm -hmm. be afraid to fail.